Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to share the 11 worst tenant I've ever had. Again, my property investment journey have just started, but these are the ones that literally throw me away, unbelievably put us in so much stress that my staff literally wanted to give up, wanted to literally find another job. So these are the 11 worst tenants I've ever had. Number one, it's tenant that held parties in my house, right? They literally held parties. I used to do student markets, okay? They've got parties every single weekend in our houses. Neighbors are complaining every single day. In one occasion, basically, I went to the properties. The stairs were on the floor. I don't know what they did on the property. Literally, the stairs was on the floor, right? I remember they had 20 or 40 people in the house. Everybody sat on that stair and then obviously gave up and then literally on the floor and then the back window was broken and again i don't know how that happened that literally was really 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 mind-blowing when i saw it i was shocked i was thinking what have they done to this house obviously they were not doing it the booze was doing it for them because they're all drunk they don't know what they're doing so it was really really difficult situation for me then and um, because i had to do all the repairs work the second worst tenant is i had a picture sent to me um showing um, my tenant walking around the house naked, right? It was so, so kind of funny and, and funny, a little bit funny, but embarrassing as well, because I was thinking, why would you work in a shared house naked, right? Literally, he, he only had his boxers on, but even not even boxers, he got, he, he got pants, right? Literally, I was shocked when I saw, when I saw, obviously, I do not. I did not keep the. Vi I did not keep the um, video. I literally um, deleted it straight away because it was just uncomfortable to actually watch. Again, walking around a seven-bedroom house wearing nothing is a really, really scary place. It was so obviously we had a word with the tenant, and he did it a couple of times. Unfortunately, because of a housemate were feeling uncomfortable, then we had to ask her to leave. And another um, worst tenant um, uh, experience I had basically is my neighbors ringing me saying, literally having to hear so many screaming coming from one bedroom, right? And it's kind of a bit explicit. Um, uh, basically, they were having sex. In, she has sex in the property, okay? So whenever she has she having sex, the whole neighborhood would know. Next door neighbors, both neighbors, housemates, everybody would know. Something is going on, basically. So it was a was an embarrassing su situation to be in, to actually ask her to kindly take it easy, okay? And she did say, I do lock the windows, but um, uh, but yeah, so that was a difficult one because again, because everybody was feeling so embarrassed about it and neighbors were complaining about it, that was a very difficult thing to kind of deal with and she had to kind of leave because the problem was basically, it wasn't just one boyfriend she had, she had so many boyfriends, like she got so many boyfriends coming in and out every weekend or so, so basically um, the, it disturbed the housemates and it disturbs um, it becomes a, a kind of nuisance to, to the um, neighbors as well as the housemates as well. And it was a difficult su 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 situation because we had to let her go. She was one of the best tenants we ever had. She pays her rent every single month, no delay, no nothing like that. The only trouble was basically is having that um, sexual intercourse when everybody is sleeping and literally screaming, banging walls, banging sofas and everything. So it was a bit of a... Um, uh, trouble that one was okay and the other one also the worst one actually the worst worst one basically is this is, I need to, uh, literally it's the worst as I think to find out your tenant were dealing drugs in your property so I need to give you a backstory about this property um, it's a property in Cardiff the the tenant moved in we did all the referencing check we did everything we supposed to do to actually allow him to, to actually move in so he moved into the property, he's paying his rent on time, we never had any issues with him, you never hear him complain, right? So one night um, I had a call from one of my tenants, they rang me, they said to me, oh the police have smashed the door, the police have smashed the front door and uh, we will we'll kind of get, get handcuffed. I was like, what, why, what happened, right? So basically he said to me, well apparently room two, was a drug dealer so basically he was using that bedroom as a as a as a snatch house basically so what he did was basically he wasn't living in the property apparently he was kind of using that room to keep whatever he needed to keep basically we did not know that we thought he lives in the property and when we inspect it it always happens to be in the house so 
we, because when you inspect the property we tell them we're going into the property right and then we may access the bedrooms so we can see everything that's that let you believe that someone lives in that property because you've got the shoes you've got the trainers you've got their shirt on the bed you know literally it's like someone was living in that in that bedroom and then obviously i went there rang the police to find out why they smashed my door and obviously they explained to me they didn't tell me in detail because of data protection they said they understand that one of the tenants were, was dealing drugs and then they had yet yeah, they happened to find about fifty thousand pounds in the chimney breast fifty thousand pounds and about five to ten thousand pounds worth of cocaine in the chimney breast so that was a shocker to me i was literally disgusted about it and uh, again very important i'm sharing this with you so you're protected and protect yourself the only thing that actually helped me with that was we had a contract a tenancy agreement with this tenant deposit was protected right and then obviously everything will happen legally right we're doing everything legally so basically if we hadn't done that right and we're not aware about that the police would have thought we were working with that gentleman so what the police did basically i rang them asked them what the situation was they invited me to the police station they asked me to bring the tenancy agreement and the rent payment that he was paying to confirm that he was paying and again the good news was he wasn't paying any different rent to any other tenant right because the police would have suspected if he was if the rent because the room was about 400 pounds back then and he was paying 400 pounds if he was paying 600 pounds for his bedroom then that would have created a suspicion because the, the, then the police would have said okay he's paying higher than anybody else why was he doing that they would think we knew about it so again very important right make sure you're doing everything legally genuinely if you suspect your tenant are dealing drugs call the police right call the police yourself because you're doing a business here it's an investment it's your live stream it's your income you don't want to mess about with that right you don't want to mess about with that if you suspect them doing anything illegal activities in your properties basically let the police know let the authority know straight away because obviously that would help you a lot lot more than the police thinking you are cognizing with them and you're aware of what they're doing again get the contract done get their ids sorted and then make sure you protect their deposit make sure they're paying their rent as well because if they're not paying their rent the police will think again you're working together very very important again it is so deceiving he is the coolest quietest most polite person you could ever find when he comes to the office he doesn't literally moan bitch about his very nice polite greeting you with, with with respect i would have never ever dreamt about that i would have never thought a, an individual like that would be doing things like that in my own house right it was just shocking absolutely shocking so what happened then basically because it was on the papers as well when 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 they caught him and uh he happens to be one of the biggest drug dealers in Cardiff and I don't even know about it, right? He happens to be one of the biggest dealers in, in that area, right? And you have never thought about it. You've never ever, I'll never think about it, right? He comes to the office, the, 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 my staff loves him, he literally come in politely, you know, he pays his rent, you know, and everything was really, really nice with him back then. You know, I mean, he was really, really ni nice person. And it was just a shocker to all of us to find out he was actually a drug dealer. And then the fifth um, worst tenant is basically, this is recent actually, tenant trying to burn our house down, right? So it's a very crazy tenant, I don't know. He literally drinks alcohol more than anybody I knew, right? He's always high smoking weed apparently and it's always drinking alcohol again we did you know this thing about property right you cannot just know someone based on the referencing because the reference talks about the landlord's checks it talks about their financially financial it doesn't talk it doesn't tell you about the situation or their or their or their mindset or what their mental capabilities are very difficult way to actually understand that he moved in very nice chap very very good a couple of months after, after he moved in he becomes a nightmare right very nice moved in everything was fine when he moved in problem drinking alcohol playing loud music you know literally smashing doors smashing everything we never knew 
threaten a tenant upstairs and then obviously when we start complaining about it he stopped paying his rent and then obviously threatened to come and burn down our office right and the house right and he happens to find out where the landlord's office was he kept ringing the landlord he was ringing the office more than 50 times a day swearing cursing threatening ring my landlord's uh, also um, office threatening saying he would burn down the houses etc etc so basically he was a nightmare right if you say if you're looking for a nightmare tenant you will not get someone better than that he was a nightmare right? one day i went to the property was swearing at me literally swearing at me cursing my mom my dad my everything basically i just ignored it right property is not about getting money is happily bubbly sometimes it doesn't work like that okay sometimes you have to take it in suck it in because end of the day he's got nothing to lose right when he was swearing at me if i got tempered we had a fight who's got to lose i got to lose i've got my investments going i got my businesses to run he's got nothing to lose i just ignored and my builder wanted to fight with him because i had to go there with my builder because he threw all my builder stools outside he throws everything outside, he threw it outside, so my builder had to call me to come round. I came round, literally just bitching, swearing at me, and I did not even answer him, right? I did not answer a word with him, you know, become racist as well, I just ignored him, right? And again, the builder got to do what he's supposed to do. He wanted to beat him up, I said, no, don't touch him, let him be, let him say whatever he wants to say. And none of this would actually bother me, it comes to this and goes on to the other year. So again... He was a really, really, really bad tenant, okay? So again, you get these people sometimes, okay? And again, the eighth um, worst tenant I have was basically this one tenant that broke the boiler, you know, and, and literally accused other people. So what she was doing basically in this case, she go and add the pressure on the boiler, right, until it overpressurized and then blame it to someone else, right? Again, he does it again, he blames someone else. Basically, he, he caused mess in the property, in the kitchen, and he takes photos to send the office to tell the office someone has done it, right? We didn't realize this, right? It took us about four months to actually realize she was the one who was doing it because we end up having problems with the existing tenants that she was complaining about not knowing that if, he, that if she doesn't like you, she will make so many accusations on you so you can leave the property right because if you're not getting along with her she will always find a way to actually get you to leave the property so obviously when we complain to those tenants say stop doing this saying they did they're not doing it when it wasn't working it was literally going to their doors knocking the doors playing loud music doing so many stuff to disturb the tenants so before she moved out she literally broke break the boiler and literally smashed it leave the pressure on and went away right again she is up there as well okay and then the ninth one basically is the one that pours shit on other housemates door so what it did what she did was basically she went to the toilet right had a poo smashed inside the toilet take the liquid smashed it in all the doors disgusting absolutely disgusting okay and again basically we had to get someone around to go and do a deep clean. I felt sorry for the for the cleaners and then obviously I compensated them handsomely for um, doing that. And then the tenth, actually worst tenant, is unpaying tenant that complains every single day. She do, he doesn't pay rent, right? He complains more than every individual in our whole entire portfolio. Every single day he will ring to complain. Oh, this guy opened the door, he didn't close it. The bathroom door was open, the light is left on right um uh, the, the tv is not coming on um the gas central it's literally they, she come he complains about every single thing right and guess what he's not paying rent right he's not even paying his rent he's keep complaining because what he does basically when you ask him for rent he go he make complaints so when he complains, then he goes like, oh, you see, that's the reason I'm not paying your rent. I'm not comfortable in this house. I'm not feeling safe in this house. Everybody's messing about, so I cannot go, I'm not. That's what he does. And we, we, we get to understand him. Whenever it's about time to pay rent, we embrace ourselves because we know we would receive the highest complaints ever during those few, few days. Suppose his rent is on the 16th, right? We embrace ourselves from the 10th that we're going to receive lots of complaints from him right so especially the last day when his rent is due he'll complain and complain and complain and complain and complain so he doesn't pay that month rent again he does the same thing next month until obviously we we decided 
and we we've had enough now so we had to we had to let him go and then obviously then he left the property the 11th worst tenant we ever had was basically one tenant this, this is a funny one okay so what he did was basically when he when we gave him no when when he when he decided to move out right on the day of inspection obviously he, he didn't turn up he left a day before we had due to inspect the property we went to the bedroom basically taking all the furnitures away it's a, it's a shared house right it's a, it's a seven bedroom house he took the bed the, the wardrobe the chest of drawer the mattress he literally took all the furniture in the property and he left all the rubbish you could ever get literally the, the house was tipped up to the ceiling with rubbish you know pizza Pixar, uh, Macarius, um, em empty can beans, so many beans, and over 1,000 bottles of alcohol. 1,000 bottles of alcohol in his bedroom. I don't know how he was able to keep all these bottles in his bedroom, right? Over 1,000, which, which, when we opened the door, it was beaming on the ceiling. It was up the ceiling there, somewhere there. I was thinking, what the hell was going on here, right? And then we rang him. He, he decided. He decided to say, "Oh, wait, I took the furniture because you're not gonna because I thought you're not gonna use it for another tenant because I've already used it. So obviously, you got, I was, we were thinking, listen, you live in a shared house. We provide the furniture when you move, moved in. We expect to use the same furniture for the for the, for the next tenant. Obviously, if it's not damaged, right? You know what, what he offered to us? He offered to pay for the furniture, the wardrobe, the complete bed, chest of drawer, the desk." and the chair for 25 pounds so you know i can pay 25 pounds for the furniture if that's okay with you we just laughed over it because it was just funny even the tip alone he left in the property would cost us 200 pounds to get rid of because he left the he left the bedroom full of rubbish again that's another one he literally nearly break a record and then the last one as a bonus is the 12 one right he moved out and break the kitchen, okay? He moved out. What he did was basically when he was moving out, he literally smashed the doors. And again, he was a good tenant. I don't just know what happened, right? He paid rent. We gave him nice reference. Everything was fine. I don't know. He had an argument with, with a tenant when he was leaving. He was so upset. He literally smashed the kitchen, literally break the kitchen door, um, a couple of doors there. And then he get wall hanging kitchen, literally smashed everything. And the tenant rang us, we went to the property only to find out all the doors are smashed and again we have to replace those. So these are the 12 worst tenants I've ever had in my property investment journey so far. So again, to be honest with you, 98% of our tenants are amazing tenants. They pay rent on time. When things go wrong, they let us know. They communicate with us. They're absolutely amazing people. So what I'm trying to say is basically 98% of the tenants are amazing tenants. We love them. We want them to stay in our house for a very, very long time. And they're absolutely amazing people. Yeah, so don't think all the tenants are exactly the same. Obviously, you get the bad one out. What you need to do once you've got them, find a way they find an alternative accommodation before it goes really 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 bad okay i really hope this video has been helpful if this video has been helpful don't forget to the like button below subscribe to, to my channel for more future tutorials thank you so much for listening i look forward to sharing the next episode